So hello guys and uh, welcome to this uh, unusual video about um, technic things, technical gear, because uh, a lot of you asked me uh, several times to show you how I record my music and um, yeah. <laughs> The point is, I am uh, a really lazy guy, so um, my preferred thing is to do music and the thing I do not so, I do not like so much is uh, cutting videos, rendering videos, doing uh, FX and After Effects and whatever. So the best for me is um, recording the video, get it off the cam and um, uploading on YouTube. And this is what I'm doing. It's quite easy to uh, get this setup and it's not so expensive that's the mo uh, most important thing here um, low cost um, is really really important so let's start with the um, the main thing of my uh, recording the main thing of my recording is my um, Go Mixer Pro by Roland. The point is this mixer you cannot um, buy anymore. This uh, thing is uncontinued but there is a second uh, mixer, a black one. The name is uh, Go Mixer FX as far as I know. Uh, just google it. Um, it's doing the same uh, like the Go Mixer Pro is doing. Some there are some some uh, small features more, <clears throat> but the main thing is um, you can connect this mixer to a smartphone and record your video and your audio at the same time in one recording and upload it directly through YouTube. And what you need for this, there are some, oh, let me just look it up if I find one of these cables. Yeah. <clears throat> there are uh, three or four cables with this uh, Mixer, um, a lightning to USB B and uh, um, USB C to USB B, and so on, and so on. So we can connect them directly together. Uh, I think you do not see this. Ah, okay, this is better. So you can connect them directly, but the cable is too short. That's the problem. So in the mean. In the main uh, situations, in the main situations, you need um, some of this. This is a, a UTG uh, cable. You can connect this through your smartphone, and on the other side, you need an USB to uh, USB B. I think this is. A. I'm not sure, but you know what I mean. So connect it here and then connect it here. This uh, jack is really, really uh, uh, sensitive. So my first mixer um, has died here because you can, you see it, you can put it left and right and this is not good for this, uh, you see it, there's the 
powering is going away. Or maybe I should use another cable. So, okay. Let's see what we can do. I open my camera and this uh, smartphone, <coughs> just for your information, <coughs> sorry. This smartphone, just for information, is uh, a Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro uh, for about well, uh, 190 euro. Yeah, something like this. Um, in comparison to this, I have um, the Zoom 4K here. This is more expensive than this. And this is uh, the quality of this thing is less good than this. Because you got a 4K 60 FPS. If you want, you can record with uh, 4K. See it here, 4K. Oh no, I'm lying, 4K, 30 FPS. Um, the other smartphone I'm recording at the moment is OnePlus uh, 6T. And this uh, here, is it possible to record with 4K um, 60 FPS? But you do not need that. Uh, you do not really need that for, for recording music. So um, the most times I'm using 1080 30 FPS or 1080 60 FPS and you see it, it's smoother. It's smoother if you use uh, 60 FPS. Um, the recording is just uh, fluently, okay? So this way it is possible to record all your stuff into the smartphone with your audio signal um, with the mixer, okay? And the connections are, here you see it, it's a 6.3 millimeters stereo. Um, you got a 3.5 millimeter two of them, but you cannot adjust the sound here, unfortunately. Um, you got a guitar or bass here. Here's the knob for this. Uh, this here is the knob for this and uh, you got a phantom power if you need a plug mic here so you got one two three four five six connections um, and this is really good um, also to um, use the mixer outside because if you do not have a smartphone with you, you can power it up with four micro AA batteries. It's pretty awesome. It works really, really good. So, but if you use the smartphone, you power your mixer with your smartphone and uh, keep in mind the smartphone is not powered at the moment, so maybe get a smartphone with a good uh, power um, I don't know the word uh, it's power accu or power bank inside yeah you know what I mean so this is the most important part of my recordings. <clears throat> One thing is uh, important here. Um, if you're asking what's with live streaming, if I uh, want to do a live streaming, I cannot use my um, smartphone and then I have to buy 
a very expensive camera and so on and so on and this is not true at all because you can use your smartphone as a wireless webcam as well I'll show you this here um, the app is named IP just a second IP webcam pro here and uh, now you see um, I have to say I am using a 5G or 5 gigahertz um, a 5 gigahertz router here so the latency is really really low you see this okay so this is the stream I'm recording here so here's my finger you see it I hope you can see this here and this is uh, really smart so you can uh, use not only one camera if you have more smartphones older smartphones maybe you can use all of your smartphones uh, as a camera and bring them together in OBS maybe and uh, use them to stream your stuff from different positions and so on and so on so uh, yeah that's great what else do I use um, there's not much more but um, for me it's really important that I have a clear sound and for clear sound I recommend to you the mixer by uh, MyVolt because if you record Volkers and you power your Volkers with batteries you have no problem there's a slight noise uh, of course but you you uh, cannot hear that um, really good okay but if you use um, a USB connection like me the MyVolts cable here you can power up five Volkers at the same time with USB uh, the problem is you get USB noise and to reduce the USB noise you can use the mixer by MyVolt you get a really good sound um, with this thing this thing reduces the noise extremely good um, in combination with the mixer I'm using the MyVolts uh, cables cause point one you get one two three four five six of them no oh, six of them here and I like the cornet I don't know if this is the right word cornet this is a corner for me <laughs> okay you know what I mean um, and this is great um, if you build up your setup you can uh, use these cables you see they're going to the side and uh, you have no problems and the quality is really really good um, of this cable I don't know uh, something about 10 or 12 euro for this six cables uh, I recommend this definitely if you use Volkers and powering them with um, USB you do not have to but uh, it's 
really good uh, solution with a power bank or so yeah, mobile and uh, this is great. Okay, so what do we have in addition to this? Um, most of you asking me, uh, what about MIDI? I studied, <laughs> I have to say that, I studied the MIDI thing for months just to get this. <clears throat> this was the first MIDI solution I bought. It's a, a quarter through, so one in and four out. You cannot configure something here. This is not possible. So this was the first I got. And the second one uh, was the RK4. I don't know where it is. Here is it. And the RK4 is <coughs> great, but it's great in combination with D MIDI 5 because you can just connect your gear and anything else is, is done automatically. But you do not have USB MIDI and the time when I bought this thing I got the ARCs and the ARCs needed um, USB MIDI and so I'm, I was searching for the solution that helps me to connect Dean MIDI and USB MIDI. And this was the point where I got the RK5. This was uh, my old time solution for everything um, till the RK6 can come out. This uh, thing I'm using really, really often um, in small setups when I connect only two or three Volkas. I use this and this maybe in combination. For setups with more gear, I'm using the RK6 because um, the RK6 has. 5, 10 MIDI out, D MIDI out, 2 D MIDI in, and USB MIDI. And this is uh, more than you ever uh, need. That's fact. I never had a setup with uh, 10 MIDI out. Never till today. But good try, <laughs> maybe. Do I have? 10 piece of gear. Yeah, I think so. I oh, should try this. Okay, so that's it. It's not uh, magic or something. Um, if you just count the prices, you need a smartphone. Everyone has a smartphone today. Um, you need the Go Mixer Pro. It's around 100. Uh, 30 or 140 um, euro and you need one of these and maybe one of this and then you're around 200 euro and you're good to go. Um, if you have any questions on these piece of gears uh, how does it work? Uh, where can I get the Go Mixer Pro? Or there is uh, no longer the Sh Xiaomi uh, 9 Pro. What else can I use? Uh, just ask me in the comments. I try to answer your questions as far and as good as I can. And yeah. Then we see in the next video. Thank you for watching and for your comments and till then.
Bye-bye.